Good morning, Libra, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of July the 28th to August the 3rd, 2024. I already cut your decks, and I've shuffled them all seven times each, utilizing the numerology of the date July the 28th, 2024. This way we can dive right into the reading. I'm going to pull all the cards to get a general vibe, and then we'll go through them individually to kind of get what the message is trying to say. So we start off with the star. The star is a very good card indication of healing and hope coming in. We have the six of pentacles, which is nice to see blessings coming in from the universe. A lot of attention coming in for you as well because you're building something of a sound structure and quality. You got three of pentacles. Okay, so you're building something here that can perhaps um, impact the community. You might be even working with other people um, to build something of quality here. It could be a business. It could be an entrepreneurial ship. You might be partnering up with some sort of business partners or, or investors perhaps that see your hard work and um, how qualified you are for this position. Um, the blessings that might be coming in here as well um, are because you are getting noticed. You're getting a lot of attention for the skill and the uh, mastery that you have within a certain domain. So this is going to look differently for everybody because this is a general reading, but you're definitely skilled and you are looked at with high regard and you are either getting a lot of attention coming in because uh, like from social media, perhaps. Uh, so update your website, update your uh, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whatever you use, your YouTube maybe. Uh, maybe you're getting a lot of attention because of some sort of advertising campaigns that you have going on. Or you might want to update your LinkedIn perhaps, or if you apply to any jobs, um, you are definitely being noticed. Uh, maybe you're getting some good reviews as well online. Uh, so you're definitely getting noticed because of the hard work that you do. Okay, so that's the three of pentacles here. You're building something of quality and people are wanting to work with you as well. Okay, so let's get more cards here with the magician. So you are uh, tapping into all the elements and healing, creating this new chapter in your life that was what I'm getting here. The queen of wands, you're definitely attractive right now. You're being bold, you're being assertive, you're going after what you want, and you're being like a magnet to people. Okay, you're you're very uh magnetized. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what I'm trying to say here. And then the king of cups. Okay, so um I feel like you have been navigating through some choppy waters, but you've been maintaining your composure. And this, uh, I feel like this is, you're being uh, noticed as um, a leader in your community as well, or um, you're being looked at a, as a prospective manager or supervisor in something, uh, in a field that you perhaps are working in right now. This might be for just some of you, um, because you have the ability to maintain your composure during crisis situations or during high stressful situations you see how he is in choppy water he can remain stoic and he can remain in, in charge of his emotions he has good emotional regulation strategies good coping strategies and he can see the bigger picture and he doesn't overreact to things he doesn't um waste his time and energy and emotions on things that he cannot uh fix or uh deal with or um, tackle at the moment. If it's not in his control, he's not going to expend energy and emotions uh, because it, it's the problem still going to be the same in the end after you're done freaking out about it, right? All right. So I feel like you have been doing, yeah, you have been doing a lot of healing, okay? You have been doing a lot of healing on yourself. Maybe you've even started to um, pivot and with respects to some sort of uh, job maybe, okay? So I think that you've changed and this is for the best, this is for good. Uh, so this star is about Aquarius. Aquarius can mean more um, community and grassroots oriented endeavors, okay? So, and initiatives. So I feel that maybe you have had a little bit of um, an awakening perhaps and uh you are 
you have been doing a lot of healing. You've been doing like internal healing of uh, past traumas and past uh, challenges, trials, and tribulations. You've really integrated them. You've you've been able to see the the silver lining and the lessons that all of these past things have given you. All of the insights that you've been able to uh, take out of all of these um, quote unquote negative situations, and you've really integrated them. You've healed, and now you're like a different person. Okay. Um, and you, 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 what you do for a living, maybe not, be, it might not be in alignment with this new version of yourself that you have become. You might be waking up from, uh, you, you might be not wanting to go to work anymore, dreading to go to work because it's, you, you don't align with, you don't resonate with the people there anymore. You don't find that it is in alignment with your purpose anymore okay and you are looking for purpose you are looking to give back to the community you are looking to um have something that gives your life meaning all right you're wondering what your north star is so for some of you because this is a general reading you might already have figured it out or you might be starting to to filter in and out like what you want in life and what you don't want in life and what kind of uh jobs you might uh, or career uh avenues might be more suitable for someone um with this new perspective on life okay and it might be even in a more spiritual in, in endeavor. Like it might be like spiritual healer maybe that you're going through to help other people that are have go and utilizing the lessons and all of the traumas that you perhaps have gone through, maybe going into a sort of therapy, uh, like a counselor, a therapist or a counselor or a, or a spiritual mentor. Maybe you're doing YouTube videos for tarot or going to astrology because I'm getting that with the King of Cups here. Okay, so the King of Cups can indicate some sort of spiritual healer or and you're utilizing what has happened to you and how you've overcome trials and tribulations in your life to help other people as well. Okay, this might be your North Star. This might be what you're being called to. Okay, and he's also like he also has the propensity to dabble in the occult and into witchcraft, and he's quite psychic, and he has clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, telepathy. Okay, so maybe this is also emerging uh, to you through this healing process that you've been going through. Okay, like I said, you are a new person. You like you're rejuvenated, and you have gone through some sort of healing, and you've. Um, have been nourishing your mind, you've been nourishing your body, you've been nourishing your soul, okay? And now it's the prime opportunity for you with this new energy, this newness, right? The number one, we are starting a new chapter here. And you are creating this new chapter yourself. You have manifested this yourself, okay, Libra? And now because of all this healing that you have gone through, you have uh, to, at your disposal here the power of all of the suits. You have the power of the swords. You have new mental clarity. You have new mental, uh, you have new thoughts and ideas about the world. Maybe some truths have come out to you during this healing process that you you didn't see the world. You, you saw the world in a certain way. Now you see it differently. Okay, and you, you see people differently and you see uh, yourself differently and how you relate to other people. Like I said, maybe and now you're seeing and feeling that your current employment or your current friend group or your current relationships don't resonate with you anymore because you are you have risen in consciousness. You are in another dimension pretty much. Okay. Uh, so you're thinking differently and um then you so you're in you're in you're integrating all of the the characteristics of the air signs and you're integrating them and you're in there at the power of the air signs are at your disposal you also have the power and the uh, propensity to step into the characteristics of the archetypes of the water signs your emotions are you you you've healed them and like I said, with the King of Cups here, you have the ability to withstand a lot of choppy waters and 
keep your eye focused on the big picture. Okay, you also are stepping into more uh, magical uh, capacities and more intuitive and extrasensory abilities. Okay, you also are tapping into the pentacles. You're being able to stay grounded in order to manifest things in this physical realm. All right, and and create stability in your life. You see how the, the I know this is the cups, but he's also situated on a concrete slab, which is providing him the stability that he needs in the choppy waters. Okay, and then the finally we have the fire, the fire aspect of the wands. You have passion, you have drive. You're being bold. You're being assertive. You're going after what you want, and you're stepping into your true authentic power, my dear Libra. This is the queen of wands okay so you, all of these are at your disposal here and your out your external world okay the, uh, as above is like what is going on within you so as above so below as within so without right so as you're healing your internal state and your internal self your external world it's it might not it might not be feeling like it's resonated for you because it's not matching your internal state so you need to start changing your external world to match and to have it resonate with the frequency of your internal state and this might be breaking free from friend groups or habits that don't align with you anymore that you that uh, and that don't resonate with you anymore. Even jobs, like I had mentioned too, like careers, okay? This is a new leaf, you're turning a new page. It's like the dove after Noah's Ark, I'm getting like after the flood, he saw the, the dove and it indicated that it was a new chapter, hope. The struggle is over. You're able to manifest now what it is that you want your life to be and then you're making your external world align with your internal peace and the healing that you've done and there are blessings coming into you okay there are blessings coming in for you here based on like it like your healing that you've done and so i'm going to explain this card now a little bit to you okay so this guy here's the universe okay and the universe, you see here how there are some scales here. And so he's deciding who gets the, like, these are, this is the blessings that are coming in. This T is the blessings. And uh, he chooses who gets the T and who doesn't. All right. And the scales always make me uh, in, uh, think of the goddess and concept in the Egyptian pantheon named Ma'at. Ma'at means cosmic order and balance. And she, along with Thoth, the god Thoth, would weigh your heart on the scales after you died against a feather. And if it was lighter than a feather, that meant that you're, you led a life of pure intention before you died. And that would determine the direction you would go in the afterlife. And if your heart was heavier than a feather, that meant that you lived a life of malintent and you would get devoured by a monster and you wouldn't, you wouldn't enjoy any sort of afterlife. You would cease to exist. Okay, so these are the blessings coming in. You've healed a lot. You are realizing that your purpose perhaps hasn't been met you're, or you're, you're um, pivoting on what your purpose might be. This might change in, throughout your life. We don't always have one purpose. Our purpose in life is not linear, okay? We don't reach it and then we're done, okay? We, it's always evolving as we evolve spiritually. So you've healed a lot and like I said, we're not perfect, but with the healing that you've done, maybe you, you, as I said before, you're, you're not the same person you were before. So some of you might live a life of pure intention. Like, obviously we might not be at a hundred percent, but this, I think this feel, this healing process that you've gone through has opened your eyes to living from love now. And now 
because the you're you're making you're focusing on creating a, your external world to be more in alignment with your internal state which is healed and it's healing and it's peaceful and you love yourself then the universe is going to start bestowing blessings upon to you to match your internal state you see what i mean here so maintain this composure of going after what you want being bold, being a certain, being unapologetic. You see this black cat here. In the times of the tarot, black cats were considered to be very unlucky, but she doesn't care. She loves black cats and she will have a black cat. She doesn't care what other people think. Okay. And so if people, if you are like pivoting in your career is what I'm getting because I just looked at this card and this is about work. Okay. This is about building something of quality. And I, what I'm getting here is that if people in your life, like your mom and dad or your, your family, your husband, or like your friend group, or like your boss and stuff like that, you're changing, right? And then you say, oh, I don't want to be an accountant anymore. I want to be uh, an astrologer or like, obviously you're not just gonna quit, like you're gonna break it down into small components and steps and work your way towards the process. Maybe some of you have the ability to, and the monetary ability to quit and pursue what it is that you want to, that's amazing, okay? But you're gonna make a calculated, you're making this a calculated transition, okay? But even though people in your life might disagree with you here, uh, and say you're being stupid like what are you doing you you make good money being a lawyer and you're like I don't resonate with this anymore it's not where I want to be it's not my purpose and I'm moving to something else so be aware that that might happen but you have to push through it okay don't let your external environment don't let people in your external environment affect your ability to stay focused and go after what you want here okay and you see here she has this salamander salamanders mean you're protected from risk you're being encouraged to step out of your comfort zone here libra and uh, obviously like i said it's not a risk like you're going to just jump off a cliff and expect to to live you're not going to just put all of your invest all of your money in like uh, a stock that you heard a youtuber talk about you're going to do your research you're going to break it down to steps you're doing you, this is calculated risk right um but you're being encouraged to step out of your comfort zone to to step into your true authentic self you don't grow if you don't do if you don't risk if you don't if you if you don't try something new right and you see how she's holding the sunflower here? The sunflower follows the sun throughout the sky. The face of the sunflower follows the sun throughout the sky. So whatever's nourishing you, whatever's giving you, like it's like following your inter, it's like following your north star here, right? So follow what gives your soul nourishment and you, you will be protected, okay? This is a very cool reading. And then you even though people in your life might not, for some of you, might not be in agreement with this change, you are being noticed. So the star Aquarius card can mean a lot of attention coming in for you. Maybe you're inspiring a lot of people. Maybe people are noticing that you're glowing from the inside out now because you've done so much healing. And like the Queen of Wands is a very attractive woman. Doesn't matter if this is a man, if you're a man or a woman, uh, you're being noticed. Okay, and you your things are going to start popping up. Opportunities are going to be starting to pop up um, that people want to work with you. And so don't listen to the naysayers because there are going to be people that see what you're doing and they're going to want to work with you because they can see what you're building is really amazing. And it's of sound qual quality and it's building a solid foundation for your community even, okay, because of the Aquarius card here. So good for you. That was a really nice reading. Okay, uh, we're going to end up with a Sufi Wisdom Oracle card, and it's all about transformation. Let love transform you forever. All right, that's a nice one. Okay. I was dead and became alive. I was tears and I became laughter. The power of love arrived and made me everlasting power. 
My heart felt the glow of life ripped open in bloom. I have no fear. I have the heart of a lion. I shine like Venus. Rumi calls you to feel the winds of change, carrying you towards a wonderful transformation in your life. He has come to remind you that life is an opportunity to learn and a joy to live. As you experience life, you learn to transform it in accordance with your specific terms and requirements. Some changes are complex, some require insight, and some are done, some are done intuitively. Dear one, making a move from your comfort zone, wow. <laughs> making a move from your comfort zone requires you to surrender willingly to a new life that is unknown to you. Wow, this is amazing. Faith and dedication are two necessary conditions that will help relieve you from what is not satisfactory in your present situation. What's not resonating with you? Wow. Rumi sees, Rumi sees the power of love as the maker of such a change. He calls you to use this power as the energy and guide to, to create a new life. This is amazing. By allowing love to be your guide, you will search beyond what has been familiar to you and you will be much more aware because you will be longing to dwell within every existence and presence of your beloved. By submitting to love, you will be able to receive its spiritual guidance. Like a butterfly, you can break out of the smallness of your cocoon and fly to freedom and joy. By reaching deeper inside and utilizing your inner power, you will let the challenges and predicaments that come along lead you toward new and creative experiences in life. Your mantra for this week, my dear Libra, is the seeds of love germinate inside my heart and bloom into unlimited creative expression. I am surrendering into the mysterious and generous flow of life. If this reading resonated for you, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for all of the energy you've provided me here today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week, Libra.